Hey. Back in the big wild outdoors, was he doing some mooching about up there? Ken the Creeper. Uh, why, uh, John Candle? Oops, got rid of them. There's a couple who think they still live there. No ice. Go on, you tramp. Yeah, uh, still a there was none in there, and then I've just lifted that plastic up, and about four flew out of that plastic. So they must have uh, been out hanging about in there and got up, looked for the race, and flown away. Bet they felt like Dorothy. Anyhow, when I can get in, I'm trying to get in and tidy up and sort these tomatoes out because they leave well. I need to get them tomatoes off them, last of them tomatoes, but oh, there's another one. Sorry for moving so fast, but the camera would have dropped otherwise, I could have got stung. And we'll sit here and have a brew and watch them uh, last few come out. Because I shut the door last night, stupidly. Brew. It's cracking on now, quarter past nine. So I think I got on about seven this morning. So I've done two and a half hours. Not bad, is it? I'm back at work tonight. So I've just set all these up now with a water bottle each, same as these, because it's working for these. So and then broccoli in there, go in here. Don't have a water station. I'm not bothered down bottom end because if you look, it's wet through there. Because the water wells at the bottom of the door there and it self waters that and it rains, so that's a good thing. Bad thing is there's always little weeds popping up, but we'll put up with that. So that's set up for broccoli, they can go in probably next week. And that's all done on fed. Fed on my chicken manure. And then another water. Started out in here finally, still a couple of stragglers. They don't understand that there's no ice here anymore. The vagabonds. So I started out in here. I was going to throw them onions out because the girl that was knackered shot at. But these are all solid. And they've really got green leaves on, so I'm giving them a drink now. And hopefully they'll pick up and I'll be able to get them eat brown. They're going to bed. Got 60 onions there. So it'll give us a good start for next year. But in here, I'm not going to probably be planting uh, potatoes in pots for winter. I've sorted some out. I've got some in here, but spritted. So I'll go through them next week. And I'll get some potatoes in here in pots. I'll just stamp pots around there. And that'll do us for winter. I've left that one tomato in. Got competition. I don't know if it'll last or not. It's not gone rotten yet. It's, it's just about starting going soft, can you see it? So next week that might be shot, so we'll see. And that's all what's left in here now. That and a little veg. So I don't really need that in here, so that can go it back at shed. Because I can fit just veg around there, then all the way around them shelves. Because I've got loads at home. So now when it gets in pots like that, like that cabbage and that can come up here out at road. And then I'm more room, I've got to do them all in cell trays. And then once they're this size, I'll just put them straight at ground. I'm not using them pots. Because it's, uh, I can't see the, uh, their benefits because they get more roots, but end of the day, they're going at ground, so, and they're inside all that winter, so they shouldn't be so bad. Anyway, so that can be laid up because I'm doing all my potting at home now. I've decided it's last of that garlic. That one big onion I've just found it behind there. Must have fell, fell down when I had them drying in here. Okay, so we can seat floor again now. Still needs a bit of tidying, but we can seat floor. All these are going to tip. It's no good. I don't recycle them. Them's going on because I'll be potted in them trays and I need them trays. Yeah. So I think it's uh, it's last video of the month, this, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm at work tonight, so I won't be on till next week.
uh, hand it leaks sorry. So that's got two weeks to go. And hopefully we're gonna have trebling. But we'll see. I had the Archie sort on it the other day and uh, it's pretty big because he's going up now and uh, he was straddling it. Struggling. Just put my hand on it. Is that? Let's have a picture of that. I'm not. Can't press it. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> I'll go off and get a picture of that. I'm gone. Sorry. Couldn't do that. To too big stretching over. Yeah, these are still flowering. Just the dying off, there's more coming on. They need tying up like the strings snap. Can you see them all flopped over? But I'm not chopping them down to that colour bus. So I might tie a piece of string on that before I go. Now that kettle's boiling. In fact, I will. And then that'll be me till next month. Flying this year, isn't it? September next time I see you so have a good week and I'll see you later sorry just a quickie before I go I'll be doing this if I can get on in the week I'll be coming on messing about with it so this is that carrot bed I'm doing so I'll just put another collar on it's a bit wonky but it's alright because I'm going to line it with the, that wood I've got and then paint it so I've got that on top now, so I've got three pallet colours. Then I've put that pipe in. Any pipe will do, that blue pipe will do. Drilled holes in, see? Then they go straight through the pipe, so the both sides in both pipes, and I've just dropped them in there, so it's like an X shape. And then what I'm going to do, when I come in the week, I'm going to fill the bottom collar there, and absolutely pack it with the horse manure. In fact, I might go up to that line there. So I'll fill all that with the horse manure. Yeah, and then this top collar and half, I'll fill with, it'll cost me about 20 quid probably, fill it with uh, compost and vermiculite, it might be 30 quid. But it'll last a couple of years, three years. And then I'll just use it again in the garden. But, and that's what I'm going to do. So that might be done next week, but that's the basic idea, that's all it is. If I've done it, the next month. So it's three pallet collars, two pipes, drilled with holes, dropped in and across, fill them one and a half with horse manure, and the rest with whatever you've got. Crap compost, vermiculite compost, whatever carrots will grow through. Because what they'll do then, when that damp compost underneath starts rising up the food, the root will start going straight down from instead of forking off. And there's no feed at all being on the top. In fact, they don't even get watered. They just get watered through them pipes once a week. A good water in each hole. It's probably one of them. So that's 10, 20, about 40 litres a week. Let's tip down them. And then them carrots, they'll be dry on top then, like they was here. And they just grow down for that water. And, excuse me, and food. So now I'll be going, I'll go and get that brew and then I'm going home. Bag that first, and I'm off. I'll catch you later.